Hey there, what you doing? Um, I am squaring off this piece of foam, quite honestly. There we go. I see something cool. Yeah. So like what's cool with EVA foam, right? Um, so you want like a pattern in it or something. You, you get a knife, very sharp one. Um, and let's just do, let's do. Smiley face. It's EVA foam. What exactly is that? Um, a lot of people call it craft foam. I, I wish I could tell you what EVA stood for. Um, but basically, like if you're making an armor or weapons or anything like that, and you don't want to use cardboard because it can get really heavy. So we have our pattern carved into our foam. We can't really see it. But the cool thing is you like you just take your heat gun to it. Give it a couple blasts from this heat gun. Yeah, you can definitely see how much more visible it is already. Yeah. You have a cool etched in little Interesting. Design. And it's just because it tightens the substance mm -hmm. up. Yep. And it pulls it apart so if it went from where it's kind of like bake, when you bake a bread and you slice the slices yeah. into it and you know it expands from there. And so this is going to become sound wave. It is. Okay, I'm already seeing a few problems. How's it going, Kayla? Going good. I, of course, like to take everything out for the very last minute. I was going to say, do you feel like we were just here? Uh, I tried to give myself more time. It's just there were, what, three sicknesses in a row? Somebody's sick now, somebody was sick last weekend, somebody was sick the weekend before that. <laughs> I just feel bad for you. You're, like, always uh, slaving away to the last minute. Well, but I, I suppose this year we switched up materials on you. We did, and... I am the queen of procrastination. Well, can you tell anybody about the new materials and uh, uh, why we picked them? Well, I picked, well, we, we picked EVA foam so that way um, we could wear it again one day. Reusability was the, the theme this year. And it was my very first time with EVA foam. You can definitely tell, but I don't think I did too bad. What was the most challenging part about EVA foam versus cardboard that oh, you're used to? Oh gosh, I think cardboard was way more challenging. Oh really? Um, yeah. Really? Cause, well, because cardboard is heavier, um, and you can just you can do so much with EVA foam. You can like carve it, sculpt it, paint it. You know, use a rotary tool and whatnot. Whereas cardboard, you're pretty much just limited to a blade and the cardboard. Um, but of course. 
title of my autobiography, Waiting for the Glue to Dry, My Weakness. Yeah, um, one thing that uh, Kayla ran into that I remember pretty vividly is that you have to fork out on a very expensive glue. Yeah. Complex. Like, you can't cheap out on the glue, because if it takes too long to dry, then you can't really be artistic with it. And we learned that lesson the hard way. Well, yeah, kind of. So we went with some pretty dang pricey contact cement, um, but it worked. And I really think this is gonna be one of your uh, more well together or less flimsy. Like, like you're, you'll be able to walk on your own. I don't think you'll need as much of a handler this year. Yeah, I'm excited for mobility and increased vision. We'll see. Oh, I love this song actually. But you can take photos and videos. I'm taking a video right now. Yeah. Sweet. You look so good. Happy Halloween. You guys can go ahead. Keep going. Yep. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, the costume takes up most of the trunk. But uh, one important thing we discovered when designing these things is uh, you have to keep in mind that it all needs to fit in a trunk. So, if conveniently, the legs fit inside the lower body, and the uh, upper body fits all the rest of the components. <laughs> 